Nigerian governors have asked President Muhammadu Buhari for a bailout fund to address the security situations in their states. The governors made the submission on Tuesday at a meeting between President Muhammadu Buhari, members of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Security Council and Security Chiefs at the Presidential Villa Abuja. The meeting held via video conferencing was also attended by the Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo. In a statement signed by the President, uh, President Buhari's spokesperson, Garba Shehu, Governor Kayode Faimi of Ekiti State, in his remark urged the President to consider a bailout for states, especially as governors allowed the federal government to withdraw $1 billion from the excess crude account for the procurement of weapons to fight insecurity in the country. In their submissions anchored by Governor Kayode Faimi of Ekiti State and Governor Babaga Nazulum of Borno State, the governors highlighted the problems of poverty, unemployment, and trust deficit between the military and civilian populations and the inflow of small arms into the country. We're now joined via phone by Mukhtar Mohammed, a financial analyst. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good afternoon. How do you describe this move by governors? Uh, this is not for salary this time, but to fight insecurity. What are your thoughts? <laughs> you know, sometimes it confuses me the way the governors think. And um, sometimes that's why we are where we are today as a nation, because of the type of governors we have or the type of people that govern us. All they always think when there's any crisis is either bail me out, bail out, bail out. Nobody look inwardly to address the root cause of the problem. Now you're talking about having a, a bailout fund for security. What happened to the security vote that is being given to governors? How do you account? Are they the that, is it the government that funds the police? Is it the government that is funding the military? Those are federal uh, agencies. The federal government funds those. So what do you actually need security fund, bailout fund for? We, they need to come out clear. Unless the federal government is saying that we have handed over the security apparatus to the state government to fund. Because I don't understand what you mean by you want to start fund, you need bailout fund. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's very appalling. Let me also ask, you know, because this also most likely brings forward the, the question of fiscal federalism once again. Um, do you think that maybe this is another sign that fiscal federalism is the way out where states should be able to fend for themselves instead of going, going cap in hands to Abuja all the time? Well, I don't think Nigerians governors or Nigerians are ready for federalism at the moment because we are so used to what, the way we do things. So I don't know if you put it to the governors today and you say you want to fit a, 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 a federalism, most of them will go against it because they are seeing the type of the bottle federalism that will operate that make them to go to Abuja anytime they need fun as a better way than thinking inwardly in solving their problem. So I don't think the governors will support that. But for me, the way to go in security is to really spell it out. Because even when the governor itself have complained, governors have complained that they don't have control over even the police, commissioner of police. They don't even have control over the military. They cannot give order to the police to come in. They cannot give order to the military, despite being the chief security officer of the state. Those are the points I think the governor should be driving to the, to the, to the president on how to address that point, not always looking for bail out for and is it also high time um, that we take a look at uh, the security vote idea uh, towards states? Is it high time that we start to ask questions about what the state governments are using these funds for? We've asked that question severally, and I think maybe we'll have to ask again. Because this cost, these funds are not funds that are accounted for. The governors never accounted for those funds. The security votes funds just come in and they use it the way they deem necessary. So we've seen issues where by security votes have taken governors to court, and at the end of the day, the court gives government gov um, judgment in favor of the governors because there's no clear co uh, uh, constitutional backing for, for how you spend it, the security vote. It's more or less like a pocket money you give to the governor to decide what they want to do with it. I think it's high time, especially with the situation that we are in as a nation, now, I think it's time they will begin to look at those, those security votes, whether they are really what is needed to be done at the moment. And also something that I would ask, do you think the federal government even has the wherewithal to bail states out uh, currently um, uh, seeing the economic effect that COVID-19 has had on the country? I, I think that's why I told you I'm surprised because even the, the governors know that the federal government is struggling. The federal government is borrowing left, center, and right. The federal government is going cap in hand, begging Chinese, begging ADB, begging World Bank. The Naira is getting the beating of his life like he has never been before. We are looking for a way at Benito to salvage the Naira through intervention. The CBN, the federal, they have not been able to intervene. 
and here we come. The government always know where the fund is. They are talking about one billion. They are talking about uh, SS good account. They are not looking at the economic implication on how to get Nigeria out of the current pandemic in terms of economic hardship the people are suffering. They are always looking at way to bail out, and that bail out at the end of the day, they cannot account for it. So for me, I don't think the government has been wise, knowing that fully whether the federal government is even struggling, even funding their own budget. So how do you now want them to fund a bailout fund for you because you have a security challenge that is not even directly under your control, it's still under the control of the federal government? Mukhtar Mohammed, thank you so much for your thoughts and thanks for sharing with us. Always a pleasure. Thank you.